Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. Bye, I, 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 it's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell! Wow, that's great, Patrick! So we put the toy robots in here... Okay! Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay! Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick... Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? Ow. Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. Ow. 
So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds! Tragically, we're sure! It even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. It's shiny. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. 
Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jiggy's Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off the scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Just my side!
Green Man. I have all your comics and toys and mail. Huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay.
Oh. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you!
Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Buck. <laughs> Patrick, you're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No.
gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. So much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this?
that is directly above you. Try it out. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, ha, move to another town. Ha, ha, crack me up. Ha. But seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. 
No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Without steering wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them for me in downtown Bikini Bottom.
somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Sam 
need a help. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm done. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, oh.
What's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal.
to open this door from the inside.
Star Boy. Someone's broken the Sea Needle. That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal.
SpongeBob. Well, thanks. <laughs> but SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, d no. Well, if I a lot. Oh.
Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Wow. 
play Oh yeah. uh, no! Everything exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the islands and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here. But I, uh, can't swim. Sometimes pushing a single button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Ow! Ow! Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see. Can do.
Bubba? Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest. If I had a castle? Um... Oh, at the top of the stand? Well, perhaps you should see for your... Rising must get to higher
Meow. Hey, Gary.
Sorry, lad. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse. Me. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Get rid of the... When you... Yeah. <laughs> 
happen.
I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenger, a huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. To feed Gary. Looks like the robot left itself vulnerable. Great Barrier Reef. The robot's taking a beating out there. Oh, that's got a sting. The robot better change tactics and fast. Oh, 
Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. golden spatula and that's not all a gift certificate for five dollars and 32 cents to dean's little shop of dried fish flakes and flowers oh thank you it all means so much i i i promised myself i wouldn't cry cry all you want but not here we just wax the floors Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have.
Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good day. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, We've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Bikini Bottom News Update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! Sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up. Young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments.
The Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, putties. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda. Never mind! Throw the token. 
You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. But he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. <laughs> Now, how to get some bath salts? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Quick, 
Please for sleeping. First one is Correct. when you have three. Are you listening? of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. So, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary.
Regain control of this. You have all you have. security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! 
what it pawned you. The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. 
fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to run bags from all this robot mess. And now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relax. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Get rid of those... Just 
Polar Bear. Howdy, Mrs. Polar down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll...
Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Actually glad you're here, and believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. For a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Oh! 
boy. Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? I'm not here to this. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kids. I won't let you down, particle boy. Okay. 
to me. broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! You know, you pulled it off. Congratulations, kid. That wasn't so.
doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili relleno in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob, but it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Ow! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. Great Barrier Reef! Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! That's the ticket! Thank <laughs> you. 
Shaker, Texas style. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? <laughs> Say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants.
looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. Hey, you call them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm going to tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
police have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And this has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Thank you. 
so that's it. Good robot is the one that's Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Have some positive loopy, SpongeBob! Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob! my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully though, you've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Time is 
Mrs. Puff? Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, the campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pop. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Thank you. 
Ahoy, Patrick! I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the Kelly Cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there! I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there. Oh boy, Mr.
What just happened? I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab. I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made? <sighs> Hello there, Barnacle Boy! Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, I need, uh, SpongeBob's help if you see him. Okay! Hello? Hey, kid. I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy. What do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do? What's it do? What's it? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me. It's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals.
I gained the power to trim my nose. Aha, mm. uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then. Of course, Barnacle. Yeah, sure.
Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Try not <laughs>
button. I guess you could say I had that course flipped. I guess I owe you a reward. Thanks, Mermaid Man. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. I'll... I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. <laughs> The graveyard of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome spectre waits. <laughs> Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. 
come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you made it up to my ship, and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot. Any Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty.
Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. <laughs>
Well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs.
shit back and defeated the robots. That you did. But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them's fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on.
It's like...
push, 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 push.
With sleep comes the news. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Oh, thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Ow! Ow! You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Ow! I'm ready! Ow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Your dream is massive. Every 
everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dreams, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. Oh, <laughs> 
seven six. Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. <laughs>
Whitworth, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward.
de <risa> Bikini Bottom News Flash! They serve food here yet, but they don't serve love. Square head and those short shorts? That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen! Wait! That hideous thing looks like me! I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me! Chunk bin jelly beans! A robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! Plankton! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the Duplicato Tron. I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton. Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy... Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! And here we are, folks, the main event! A gauntlet of ever-increasing ferocity! That's the ticket! Oh, that's gotta sting! Oh, and the robot is down!
robot better change tactics and fast. won't be winning Thank <laughs> you. 
SpongeBob goes for it. becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all and they will see. Uh oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized puppy grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom. Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe.
Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Something you wish. And drop on the deck and flop like a fish.
Who lives in a pineapple? Who lives in a sea? 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 Who lives in a sea